Hi guys, it's Andy Andrew with Rags, Tags, and Confections, and we're going to walk you through some um, ideas on how to use your um, shells that you may have collected at the beach or some shells that you have from the dollar store. Um, that's where these ones are actually from, is from the Dollar Tree, and there's little bags that you get. And Andrew was working on a project last night using the shells, and I had the alcohol ink sitting out from doing the um, rusting plates and I thought, you know, I wonder what would happen if we used this on a shell just to see what it would look like. Well then of course that led from, well let that work this good, let's try something else, let's try something else. So I have an arrangement of a few different things um, that I can show you that we did on the shells and how it affected them, their outcome. And a couple little... Um, I don't want to say uh, DIY, a couple little ideas um, for pieces that you may want to keep in your uh, stock, your arsenal, to help you reutilize um, some other pieces that you may have. Um, when I get to that, I I'll explain things a little further. So, I started off with the alcohol inks, and you've all seen this tray numerous times. And here are some of the outcomes from those mixed a couple of colors on them. This was the blue and the green. This is obviously rainbow. The blues, the orange and the yellow. A couple shades of pink. The purple. And I only did the silver mixative because I did a gold in a different format. So those are all done with the alcohol ink. Now I did finish them off with a coat of um gloss varnish and this just happens to be the Liquitex version. It can be any kind of gloss varnish. Um, we've had this sitting around and it needs to get used up. So that's what I sealed these with. So I will do one of these with you on camera here. I'm not going to go through each and every one because it will take some time but we just need our shell and well since I didn't do the gold yet out of the alcohol ink will do that. And I have no idea why that's purple now. I'm assuming it has something to do with the what contents are in the bottle with the alcohol. So all I did was put a little tiny bit and I mean a little tiny bit on the end of um, some felt that we've cut up. And this is so simple, all I did was take it and brush it on. And the more you brush on, or smear on, the darker and more intense that color will be. Now this is pretty potent if you're not used to the smell. I and mean, if it bothers you, turn on a fan, open a window. But... And the smell doesn't really bother me, so that's just a subtle difference with the gold. And um, we can keep adding more to that if we want. So that's how we put the alcohol ink on, and then you can mix and match shades any way you want. I'm going to slide these out of my way here. that one will need varnish then. Then our next one I went on to was, I'll do this one so I can get it out of the way. It was this real pretty gold one. Now this gold came from nail polish. This looked really pretty in the bottle. Not so much on fingernails. No. So it came down to the craft room. Like it's going to get used for something. So, just like I'm going to do my nails, which yes, they need done again. Just going to mix that up. Open it up, and just like you're going to do your nails, just brush that on. Now I did put, I think, two or three coats on the finished one, because just like for... The nails, the coverage stinks. 
really bad. And there was no way I'm putting four or five coats of nail polish on my nails to get a color and then it still doesn't do anything. So that's why I don't usually buy cheap nail polish, but I thought, why not? Yeah, now I know why not. All right, now we're going to go to Perfect Pearls. Now, Perfect Pearls and Pearl X, both identical products. They're both mica powder that have a um, binder in them. These are done with the Perfect Pearls. I move our gold one out of the way here so I don't get mixed up. And this is the peach one is done with the Pearl X. So you can see you get that really nice shimmery color. And to obtain that, you know what, I haven't done a green one yet, so I'm going to pull the green Pearl X down. Move those out of the way. And this is very, very fine powder. Um, just forewarn you, if you do try to use it, you don't want to, that's definitely one you don't want to spill. Now I have an um, old Versa marker here and for the for doing good things um, I borrow Andrew's good one and this one is wore out and the tips pretty much shot in it but it's still full of um, product so I'm using that on here and I'm not I'm not being too gentle about it I'm trying to get down I don't want to completely cover up all those cracks I want some of it to show through but I'm just going through and taking the marker over those. Put the cap back on so I don't end up with that everywhere. And to apply this, I just use a soft fluffy brush. I just want to get a little bit on the end. And a little bit goes a long way with this. Let me see if I can pull you down here a little bit. <clears throat> and all I'm doing is tapping that in and brushing it down. Now sometimes if I had other colors out I would pour some into the lid that way it didn't contaminate anything but since this is the only color I'm working with I'm not going to worry about that. And you get a really nice pretty shine. And then we seal that. Now another alternative to um, using a Versa marker is a product that you can find um, at your health stores, your pharmacies, um, is glycerin. And to use that, we just need... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay. I'm just going to use it out of the cap here since I'm only going to do one one shell here for you. We just need a small brush and our shell. And we're just going to get some of that glycerin out, which is just its kind of a sticky binder. And I'm just going to use a brush and kind of paint that on there. Just a thin coat. Now back to our powder and brush that on and nice and shiny so side with that one <clears throat> okay now along the lines of the pearl X and the perfect pearls I guess I could have left that open. You can also use the eyeshadow from the Dollar Tree and these you just pop the bottoms out and the powder will come right out. But beware, it will go everywhere and it does make a mess. But once they come out, you can put them inside these little medicine cups that stack together and that's what I have here, um, four different colors. And I also have those same colors in this little box. Now in this box I've mixed 
the powder with gum arabic another binder this is binder that you will find in watercolors so once you mix the gum arabic and your powdered eyeshadow in your little cup stir them up and then let it sit out and dry overnight then you can have yourself um, some DIY twinkling H2O's um, and it does actually work rather well um, I'm not going to mix these up because I don't really want to open these two colors up just yet but I am going to for you ladies out there if you have old makeup that you don't use same thing only for this I'm going to scrape some of this out I'm gonna put it in here first and these are just just an old set of teaspoons that measuring spoons I should say that we've had forever and I'm just gonna start scraping this solid eyeshadow out now it's not gonna be as fine of a powder as what's already ground up that for right now. I'll try to smush up some of the bigger clumps. All right. Now we can add in our gum arabic or we can leave it plain. Just leave the powdered form. This stuff's always a booger for me to open. May have to get Andrew over here. Yeah. Hon, can you please come hoop in this? Sorry guys, product malfunction here. Call it I have no strength in my hands. Okay, so while he's opening that, we will go ahead and do the shell with the with the powdered version. So we need to put our Put our glycerin on this one or our versa marker um, whichever you have to make it stick okay that lid must be on there good because even he's having trouble getting it off okay so now we have our glycerin on now take our soft brush into our powder and tap that in. Now once you get the glycerin on the brush everything's gonna stick to it. Alright. So that eyeshadow is actually giving us a really nice thick coat. So you can use your glycerin, stick your powder on that way. And, okay, since we're having a little bit of um, technical difficulties here, take the rest of our powdered eyeshadow, mix in the gum arabic, pour it in your little containers, and let it air dry. And again, these are stackable, so we have four different colors here, and they are identical to these. These are the store brand. Now the store brand are obviously nice, bright, and more intense. But there's these work just as well in certain cases. So okay, done with that. Done with that. Done with that. Now turn my. I'm gonna have to clean this off again. Okay, one other one that we did that I thought came out really, really pretty was using the oxide inks. And we're using the peacock feathers and the squeezed lemonade. And you could use just the regular distress inks. These just happen to be the ones I pulled out. So we have the blue, the yellow, 
How did I do the other one? I did it blue into yellow, so let's do this one yellow and into blue. I'm going to start at the top here. Brush that yellow on. Now let's bring it down into the blue. I like these new brushes that um, Rangers come out with. You can slide that barrel down and keep the bristles more stiff instead of having them up and everything's floppy. You can adjust it to kind of what you need. And for this, a stiffer brush definitely works better to get down into those grooves. Okay, let's go back over it with the yellow and kind of blend them together. And it'll give us that green effect in the middle. Because yellow and blue make green. And there we go. The Distress Oxide's on the shelves. Now, yeah, I got a little bit on there, but I'm not worried about that. Rub it on some paper, it'll come off. Just like that. Good to go. Okay, guys, so there are a few different ways for you to do up your shells to add to your creations throughout the summer using everything from Dollar Tree um, eyeshadow, eyeshadow in your own collection, distress inks, nail polish, pearl powders. It's quite a gateway. And two staples you might want to add in to your collection are the gum arabic and the glycerin, two things that you will be able to mix with multiple different things and give yourself some um, variation on different ways to use your product. So I hope you guys found some of this helpful, interesting, um, maybe a way to stretch um, some items you already have, repurpose some of the things you have, and hopefully you can do something with it. So thanks guys for watching, and have a great day, and thank you for spending time with us. Please remember to hit that like, subscribe, thumbs up, and the little bell for notifications, and all that happy jazz, and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.